Big news today for the Linux world, especially for Linux gamers and other Linux users with graphics heavy workloads. Nvidia announced that they are transitioning to fully open source GPU kernel modules with the upcoming R560 driver release. So we're finally on the road to open source Nvidia drivers, at least for compatible GPUs. If you're using the Maxwell, Pascal, or Volta architecture cards, basically anything before the debut of NVIDIA's RTX cards, then no open source drivers will ever be coming out for you. Now, I wanna go over how GPU drivers work just at a high level really quickly because there's a lot of misunderstandings that I've been seeing online about this update that seem to be centered around people not knowing about that. So the software stack for graphics cards and really most computer hardware is at three levels, the user space code, the kernel code, and then the firmware code. Modern graphics cards have most of the code that powers them in their firmware. It's proprietary code that's in the card, all the trade secrets are, you know, what's in there, and this is true for AMD and Intel, both for their integrated graphics and dedicated graphics, and of course, Nvidia as well. Now, there are some open source firmware options like Libre booted ThinkPads and some other models of laptops and desktops with integrated graphics, I think mostly Intel chips from like the Core 2 Duo and Core 2 Quad era. And you know, these are actually fine for light computer tasks like web browsing and word processing. Richard Stallman famously uses one of these ThinkPads uh, when he's on the go, at least for a lot of his computing. But any intense graphical stuff like playing AAA games or 4K video editing isn't really an option on these machines. Now, in the world of Linux on modern hardware, and by modern, I mean you can go back as far as 12 years or more since that's when Linus, the original creator of Linux, famously gave Nvidia the finger. Since then, AMD has been favored. And the reason why is AMD has open source user space code a la Mesa which is actually really good, even better than the proprietary drivers in a lot of cases. While NVIDIA users, if they want to be purely open source on Linux, they have to use Nouveau, which is much less performant than NVIDIA's proprietary drivers. And historically, NVIDIA has been very unhelpful with kernel developers and really open source software developers of all tiers when it comes to Linux, but that's slowly changing with these kernel modules and with other efforts that we're gonna talk about in a moment. So with this new driver release, what we're getting is kernel space code, which really just facilitates communication between the user space code and the firmware in the card, both of which are still proprietary. And so the user space code is really the key issue here for NVIDIA to be as good as AMD is on Linux. And more importantly, for people that have work that they may be wanting to do on Linux, but because they depend on NVIDIA's hardware and software for that work, they are forced to use a dumpster fire OS like Windows to do that work, which by the way, has been crashing all over the world today. Flights have been delayed, banks are broken, the stock market isn't working, emergency services aren't working. And this weekend is basically going to be one of the biggest shit shows in IT history because of a CrowdStrike bug that has affected Windows. And according to Microsoft, the best fix right now is to just reboot your computer like 15 times or so to clear up all the blue screens of death. It honestly baffles me that this is the operating system that runs the world, at least as far as end user computing is concerned. Thank God most servers out there are running some kind of Linux or BSD. But anyway, not to get too far from the topic of graphics cards, those people who depend on NVIDIA's CUDA libraries are one step closer to getting the same performance that they would get 
on Windows. And of course, since we're talking about the actions of a multi-trillion dollar international company here, there has to be some kind of financial incentive for them to go open source with the kernel modules. And I really think there are. By doing this, NVIDIA is going to get hundreds, possibly even thousands, of free developers to work on the driver stack, at least in the kernel parts that aren't proprietary. NVIDIA doesn't have to pay these people any money. And at the same time, if any improvements are made to these drivers in the kernel, then NVIDIA is gonna be the ones to profit from it. And if any bugs occur with these new open source NVIDIA drivers in the future, they can blame those very same developers that do it for free. And since the most important code is locked down in the card's firmware, there is very little risk of reverse engineering and any real competition coming to NVIDIA. If you think about it, this is the same kind of ecosystem that some of the most profitable video games ever, like Minecraft and Grand Theft Auto have. The code of these games, the core code of these games, is proprietary, but the game is open enough to have lots of mods available to them, which drastically change the gameplay. These mods are just software and sometimes visual elements that developers not affiliated with Microsoft or Rockstar Games have created themselves. And this software allows the gamers to get a lot more time out of playing these games, increase the likelihood of them using microtransactions and things like that, or possibly even get them to buy the game in the first place because of the modding possibilities. I know that's been a huge factor for me when I've purchased video games. And it's probably going to make people go out and buy these new graphics cards that are compatible with these open source drivers. I mean, I was thinking of finally upgrading because my strongest NVIDIA card is a 1080 Ti, which of course is not compatible with the new fancy open source drivers. So I guess I might just bite that very expensive bullet and purchase my first ever RTX card in current year especially if Red Hat's Nova drivers end up being really good, which is the final piece of the puzzle here. So if you haven't heard about this related story, Red Hat is working on a successor to the Nouveau drivers called Nova, which is going to be written in Rust. So if Nova can be to NVIDIA the same way Mesa is to AMD, then I think the year of the graphical Linux workstation will finally be upon us. And the only Windows users that will be left are gonna be the people that use it because they have some sort of blue screen of death kink. Hopefully there aren't too many people that are into that. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it to hack the algorithm and check out my online store, based.win. Get yourself some awesome merch like the Libre Short Sleeve t-shirt and save 10% store-wide at checkout on base.win by paying in Monero XMR. Have a great rest of your day.